Hey guys, it's Eric at Prestige. We get emails all the time from you guys um, asking different questions about, uh, usually about some of our tech videos. You'll see a tech video, you'll have some additional questions, um, and you'll email us. Uh, we love getting those uh, emails to really see what you guys uh, are interested in and, and some of the areas that you guys need a little bit more advice. So, uh, earlier today I got an email from someone who saw our timing advanced video on YouTube. Um, they recently had a distributor built and they received a distributor advanced graph with their new distributor. And they were a little bit confused on how to read that graph. So I just wanted to uh, highlight that for everybody. Uh, that way if someone else uh, has one and is a little bit confused, uh, hopefully this video will help them as well. So. All right, so here is the graph that he sent us. And this definitely uh, can be a little bit confusing. Uh, I'm not sure which company built the distributor, but they definitely could use some uh, some advice in the user-friendly uh, graph department. So what I've done is I have highlighted um, and kind of sectioned this graph out to make it a little bit more readable. This distributor has two types of timing advance, a mechanical and a vacuum. The mechanical uses springs and weights and the vacuum uses spring and pressure differential, basically uh, the pressure difference between atmosphere and manifold pressure. The mechanical vance, we'll, we'll look at that one first. Basically what it's saying is at 1000 RPM, so you can see the bottom scale highlighted in, in green pertains to the mechanical advance. Uh, at 1000 RPM, it looks like it is starting to add timing advance and I'm assuming that the very bottom line on this graph is zero and the first line up would be two degrees. It's not really clear but I'm going to assume that that's what they're saying. So at a thousand RPM the spring and weights will add two degrees of advance to whatever the base timing is. As the RPM increases all the way up to 4500 RPM it will advance or add 24 degrees of advance to the base timing. So you can see they say at the very bottom there, base timing at idle should be six to eight degrees before top dead center. Um, and they have in parentheses there in gear, basically what they're assuming is that in gear, your, your engine should be idling below a thousand RPM. Um, there's a lot of assumptions there. Um, so. Um, but in, in a stock vehicle, and this has like a 1962 year on it, so um, I would say that in 1962, the uh, 283 probably did idle below 1,000 RPM. Um, but, so you take the six to eight degrees that they are recommending for a base timing, and you add 24 degrees to that, your total timing would then be in a range between 30 and 32 degrees, which is exactly where you really want to be on a small block Chevrolet. We recommend about 32 degrees uh, for a mild performance engine. Uh, that's as far as you want to go uh, advance wise. The vacuum side of this, <clears throat> again, vacuum is just measuring load. So when you check total timing, you do not want to have the vacuum line hooked up. Uh, so you want to unplug the vacuum line from the distributor and plug that line off so you don't have a vacuum leak and then check your total timing. Um, the vacuum advance, what it's saying is when you hook that back up <clears throat> under a high load situation, which would be like wide open throttle, the, the pressure differential between atmosphere and the manifold is going to be very low. Uh, so you're not going to have um, much advance uh, from the vacuum advance mechanism. So you can see at just over five inches of mercury, um, you're just starting to get two degrees of advance uh, all the way up to once you hit 11 or 12 inches of mercury, uh, it is adding 16 degrees of advance. So uh, that would be in a low load situation, uh, idle cruising um, where you would have 12 inches of mercury of pre pressure differential in the manifold. Um, you would be adding another 16 degrees of timing. So um, I hope that cleared that up a little bit. Um, if you guys ever have questions um, about any of this stuff, feel free to send us an email uh, to tech, T 
T-E-C-H at PrestigeMoto.com. Um, we'll do our best to answer all of your questions uh, and hopefully help you guys understand uh, things like this. Uh, we want you to enjoy your vehicles and um, we know that sometimes some of this stuff can be a little bit uh, confusing, so we'd love to help you out. Send us an email and we'll do our best to, to do that for you. Thanks a lot, guys.